so this one is short as well and that's it's not beeping so that means it's fine and uh, we might need to change uh, these drivers these are if you may be able to see the numbers yeah hello and welcome back to channel guys uh, today i'm going to show you this is a ss model and uh, this is 980 not the 980 ti it's a 980 uh, i have already removed uh, this uh, fan and heat sink on it and i tested already but i wanted to show you what i found in the in this card actually what is the problem basically the customer uh he tried already on this one and he put the heat etc etc he tried by himself and i just diagnosed actually uh, let me show you the experience what i diagnosed actually uh, you see these kind of uh, mosfets so these ones are m3054 m and the other ones are m3056 m so these are basically the MOSFETs, they are connected to a core and also the VRAM as well. Uh, so let me test it for you how to test. So basically uh, this card is not actually showing any kind of short, we, we can test in the, into the continuously mode which is uh, here. And, as soon as I I do like uh, touching these two you can hear the beep so the basically the basic rule of the testing is if you just put a negative probe onto the ground like this and you can test it start testing from the one two three pins these are for 12 volts they are not showing any kind of short Let me show. they are not showing a short on one two or three pins and for 3.3 volts uh the fourth pin from the that side and it's not showing any kind of short and then after that we can we can test it for example uh from the main connections uh the notch area is negative so this is a notch area some of the cards they have got notch on the that side so you, you need to make sure what you are testing so this is the plane area which is uh, 12 volt and we can connect it here as you can see there is no beep and uh, there is no beep as well on the second and third no beep fourth is no beep fifth is no beep sixth is no beep and finally seventh is not beep so basically is not showing any kind of shortage uh, in the system but uh, it's not showing any kind of display uh, the GPU core actually getting hot as uh, look like normal but uh, these MOSFETs I tested already I marked them already you can see the red one two three four five six seven so these are all short so I checked the data sheet uh, the link is below in the, into the description for these uh, MOSFETs the data sheet you can read the the fourth pin from the bottom because there is a little uh, dot if you can see in, into the camera that's the little dot so this is pin number one and the, basically i can see the one two three pins they are actually joined so fourth pin is a gate so we need to check every fourth pin on these mosfets so fourth pin if the fourth pin is uh, beeping that means the mosfet is no good so i started uh, let me show you let's suppose this is the fourth pin on the m60 m30 uh, 54m so fourth pin is actually now beeping it was not beeping before so we need to change this one as well so it's showing the short and on to the other one this is short again this is short this is also it's a short that's short it's showing short this one is short 
uh, this one is short as well and that's it's not beeping so that means it's fine so it's not beeping as well so basically we found the short in these ones we can test the other ones as well i have already tested these uh, look fine to me there is no shortage in there uh, as you can see pin number four is there and uh, randomly just showing you because because uh, i have already tested them all of them so the uh, these are fine i don't see any kind of short so that's fine there is no beep and also the last one it's not beeping at all so basically we found the shorter short here uh, I marked already these one two three four five six seven of them but uh, actually this one is short as well just found it previously it was not showing me any kind of shortage in there and uh, we might need to change uh, these drivers these are if you may be able to see the numbers yeah it's a IR3598 SW1UP so these are the drivers we may need to change these one two three four as well I mean these four of them so these four of them we may need to change as well but first of all what I will do what I'm going to plan so remove all these uh, eight of them and uh, basically this these are uh, it's uh, difficult to find into the uk at the moment so i just ordered from uh, uh, aliexpress which is uh, coming from china actually they are not too uh, expensive they cost about roughly one pound each and uh, basically what i need to spend about eight of them so roughly eight or nine pounds in total altogether including delivery uh, the delivery will be uh, you know it will be made in about a month's time or something so this is a part a video this is a part a video uh, as soon as I get the parts I will make another video which will be part 2 or part B that will be uploaded after that so stay in touch and this will be the card let me show you the card look like from the back is like this I do not find any kind of uh, short but except except these ones and these MOSFETs I have already tested the fuses the fuses are fine everything is, looks fine the voltage coming here 5 volt is coming and all the 12 volts they are coming as well but I have no idea why uh, even though these are short but it's not showing the short here in that area and also the card actually uh, not showing any kind of display on the computer so that's all for today uh, wait for the next video which will be part two uh, until that i will make another video for a different card so please uh, stay in touch and uh, like the video and subscribe to our channel as well for further videos thank you very much goodbye thanks for watching universal information and entertainment tv Please like and subscribe our channel for more updated videos, news, information and entertainment, see you in next video. Stay tuned.